Alpha 21 is progressing. We just got another experimental version updated with a bunch of bug fixes, but also some changes and tweaks and additions. Love it or hate it, I'll call it the heat update, as that's probably the most important change. Let's dive in and, of course, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more. A few moments later. Whoa, and just like that, 24 hours after this experimental update, the Fumpims decided to bring the game into stable in order to be done ahead of the Steam summer sale. Despite game breaking bugs such as the spawn near your backpack. Too early guys, but hey, I can understand it makes business sense. It did force me to re-edit this video though, which is why it's a little bit late, but I will go through the full feature set of Alpha 21 in a different video. First up, heat changes. Looking at the changelog experimental version, we see that now the dew collectors are extremely noisy and will create activity heat. This as a refresher is the mechanics of where too much activity produces what we call this heat, which is where a screamer will eventually be generated to investigate and they can in turn call in other zombies for dinner. Sort of like that nosy neighbor deciding to invite themselves for a meal. Workbenches and cement mixers will now also generate activity heat while being used to craft. And while I might be able to get on board crafting being somewhat noisy and thus it's logical that maybe zombies will be drawn in, the mind boggles at water collecting in a bottle making noise. I guess sort of let's ache into where that leaky faucet in your restroom echoes throughout your mansion and drives you insane with that intense noise it makes or something. I think it's a weird choice as the dew collector likely will be working around the clock and thus always will be creating heat. It's a dumb addition in my view. Moving on, bunch of changes to POIs as expected, but a small gem at the bottom is to cap FES so it doesn't hit extremes. That actually has been a problem in the past, where sitting on menus etc could cause FPS to skyrocket and your GPU blasting 100% to render a menu screen at 5000 FPS or something. I've in the past have to hard FPS limit the game just to avoid this, so it's nice to see this added. What about changes then? There have been tweaks to vehicles, to the speed, the coasting, the torque and so far. We'll see how that plays out and whether it keeps the vehicles being more unique in the future. You'll also see a couple mentions of better progression between tiers affecting mod slots but also damage values to be a linear progression and allowing those quality levels and tech tiers to better match up. And I think this is good because this has been a problem where you find something that is higher quality or better tech tier but it's still worse and that just doesn't make a lot of sense. We've also had reports of people getting pretty poor quest rewards and that hopefully has been changed in this update to work better. Now on to the fixes. There were some annoyances with lag coming from hosting P2P that's been fixed. We also had a failure to check for land claim areas and this is for both players and traders which allowed for dumping buckets of water. This has now been fixed. And the most important thing that they fixed is zombies would reject dead snakes as a meal. Never again shall they be so picky. That's all friends, catch you in the next video.